We spend a lot of time in our kitchen, so it's a good idea to make them fashionable. It's all about the details. Lifestyle expert Chris Olson with Botanica Gardens joins us with a few ideas today. Chris, good to see you again. Good to see you. Glad to have you here today. I really like this. This looks like something that's easy, yet really, really cool. Yeah, you know, we're always trying to find what can we do to accessorize, you know, our kitchens. And the first thing is, let's start over here with the stack of books. First thing I always do is I like to mix and match different things on my countertops. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be everything that's just kitchen related, but it still is. For example, these are all stacked. Uh, stacks of real cool books that are mm -hmm. fashionable recipe books. There's lots of recipe books out there and a lot of times you can find them like a Garden Ridge or places like that for like 25 cents or for a dollar. Yeah. So I just buy inexpensive ones and I stack up and then I'll add something that I found somewhere. And then even this has called the recipe of a happy life. Oh, it cool. might not be food but it has the yeah. name recipe in it. And then you just stack little collectibles over time and this will complete the countertops. Okay. But what about the backsplashes? A lot of times we have outlets and things and things are plugged into it and I love to hide that. So I'll create my own art and what's great about this is it can be any size you want. So all I did was go down to my craft store and they have what's called foam, foam, foam core board mm -hmm. and you cut it any size you want. You buy a frame. I bought this at a garage sale. So I had, really? no, had nothing in it and it was one buck. Okay. So it was that cheap. So I went ahead and covered it. You can cover it with, uh, I did a type of paper. You can do a fabric, you can do a pattern, you can do something that matches your drapes in your kitchen or something mm -hmm. like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and get spoons, knives, forks. You might have leftover ones. Bought these, a whole bunch of them for a dollar yeah, at the dollar say, store. You can get really inexpensive ones. Inexpensive. So it matter. And you take acrylic paint and you can choose any color you want. And this is lavender. And I love just to put it in a plastic cup. You can either dip it in there or it's easy just enough to paint it. Again, this is acrylic paint. And look, it's that simple. And you just go ahead and paint it. And you're, you're gonna go up to about there. Do that, let it dry, and then do several coats. Okay. So eventually, you're gonna get to a nice thick layer. Wow. And uh, you can do a gloss or you can do a matte and that type of thing. And then we have our little hot glue gun. And we're just gonna go ahead and glue the back and glue a little bit down here. You can also use a household glue if you prefer. I already measured it out and you just put it on your Stick board like that. There. And create any design you want, any color you want. It's customized. Easy You're ready to go. Cool. I like that. Chris, where can we go for more ideas like this? Um, you can go onto my website, which is chrisholson.com. 